Hey guys, Nikos here, and today we're going to look at how you can use TypeScript with the serverless framework. Now, if you look at some of my previous videos, I give an explanation of what TypeScript is. Now, serverless have an examples folder or GitHub repository, and I've cloned this locally, and I'm going to show you the basics of how I can use TypeScript to compile to JavaScript and then upload them as Lambda functions to run on my AWS server. So what you need to do is you need to get some typing information for the serverless AWS SDK. So you get that by installing types AWS SDK and also the node ones which are useful. And I also include TypeScript, TSLint and uh, this linting for the files to make the TypeScript syntax standardized. And what I'm going to use uh, for my TES config is I'm going to take I'm going to take my, my TypeScript files and output them to ES6 and use commons yes because that's what you use for node. Um, I don't want to get TypeScript compiled to look at my nodes for node modules folder. And we're using these types. What else? So this is my serverless configuration. If you want to know more about this, then of course you need to read through the serverless documentation that's beyond the scope of this video. So what I've done here is I have, I'm using AWS provider, uh, obviously I'm deploying it there, node 6 runtime, I'm deploying to London, and this is my DynamoDB, DynamoDB table uh, settings, and I'm just creating a, a role for this Lambda function. So this is my function here, I'm going to call it create and it's going to respond on uh, API Gateway. API Gateway is where uh, DynamoDB uh, wires up the Lambda functions to you know, get requests or put requests on uh, API Gateway. This is the AWS console here. So here's my AWS Gateway. And uh, the resources for the serverless project will be a DynamoDB table with these settings here. Now the create function, this is a TypeScript file at the moment. What it does is uh, loads in the DynamoDB from the AWS SDK, creates an instance of the document client, and when the endpoint is hit, we are going to then store um, the message from the, the event body, and we're going to store that into an item in the table. And this is the, the syntax here. Now, because we're using TypeScript, then of course we uh, get the, the uh, benefits of TypeScript, which I'm sure you're all aware of. So, for example, if I go in here and start um, deleting items from here then this is a, a params object that has a specific type and the actual TypeScript knows that the DynamoDB put uh, command requires an object of a specific type. So this immediately is saving us a lot of time um, and uh, worrying about if we're using the same, the correct objects. So for example, let's look at this parameter here. So if we look at uh, the method put, We can see that we have to have we have to pass in this thing called the put param. Which has to have so there are, so basically all you need to know is, is that TypeScript knows that if you're not using the API correctly, it will warn you. And that's yes. You don't have to learn the SDK really well. You just have to you can trust TypeScript to find and show you what errors are, are happening. So let's just compile this TypeScript file and show you what it looks like once you output it. So we're going to open up the terminal here. Okay, and uh, if we just run TSC, we should get the output for... So it's compiled, and what we do is we have this output JavaScript file. 
This is the JavaScript, and as you can see, they look pretty much similar. There's just a little bit of extra syntax here, but pretty much is very, very similar. And then what we do is when we upload serverless, then it's the JavaScript file that gets uploaded onto the ADL-based Lambda, not the TypeScript file. So when we uh, deploy it, I'm not going to deploy it because I've already uh, done it. You do serverless deploy, and what it does is it creates a, a zip file of all the information in the project, including load modules, and it uploads it into Amazon. And then what it does is Amazon uh, then turns that into actual AWS objects. Now what serverless is actually doing is it's creating a CloudFormation template, uh, which is based on all of our project here. But the serverless advantage of this is this is a lot more readable than these massive uh, CloudFormation templates, which nobody in the right mind would write by hand, I think. So let's look at our, this is the table is um, it's empty at the moment. So let's just go into, uh, we're in London, go to DynamoDB here. So let's go to the table. So there is currently nothing in this table at the moment. So let's go and do a request. So when we deploy it, what it does is uh, serverless gives us the endpoint. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to do a post request with some data like this here. And hopefully we'll not get any head errors. Okay, that worked. So that was a bonus. So now if we refresh this, uh, if we refresh our table here, we should have an item in our table. There we go. That worked pretty well. Now, our Lambda function is in here. Automatically created for us by CloudFormation. So this is a Lambda function that we get from TypeScript's compilation to JavaScript. So this is our Lambda function that gets uploaded daily. So here we have, here it is here, it's been automatically deployed for us with none of the TypeScript uh, information because it's pure JavaScript. And uh, what uh, Serles has done is, is actually created an API for us and wired up the HTTP event to the Lambda function. So if we look in here, we can see again that our create function, which is in the create file, this one, uh, responds to an event, an HTTP call to to do's and uh, on a post method. We have our inbound method, which then gets routed to our Lambda function and then comes back out. So very simple example here. Um, all you need to know is that you can write your Lambda functions in TypeScript and take all the advantages of TypeScript with you. And when you deploy to AWS Lambda via uh, serverless, then you have uh, it works as normal. So have a shot of this and so let me know if it works for you. If you have any problems with TypeScript, please let me know and appreciate it. This channel, uh, we don't have any ads in this channel, so likes are always always good. And uh, you know, enjoy this project. So, bye.